Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I live in New York City and today we are going to be checking out some of the best bookstores in downtown Manhattan. Just for clarity, when I say downtown Manhattan, I'm referring to 14th Street and below, which is the correct definition of downtown Manhattan. We've got a lot of great places to go check out, so let's head on over to our first stop, Blue Stockings Cooperative. <laughs> Blue Stockings Cooperative is located at 116 Suffolk Street on the Lower East Side. They're open from Tuesday to Sunday from 11 to 7 and Mondays from 1 to 7. And at the time of filming this in early November 2022, face masks are still required to enter. Blue Stockings is a collectively run activist center, community space, and feminist bookstore that offers mutual aid, harm reduction support, non-judgmental resource research, and a warming and cooling place that is inclusive of all genders, cultures, sexualities, and identities. It's been around since 1991, and it became worker-owned in 2021. A business that operates under a worker-owned or cooperative structure, such as Blue Stockings, is owned and self-managed by its workers. In order to live up to their values of equity, their worker owners use a shared decision-making model, have transparent financial practices with each other, and establish their own wages. Blue Stockings has a huge stock of all different kinds of books, zines, a selection of free books, very nice quality merch, and a really, really nice cafe with a ton of specialty drinks. But if you just want to drip coffee, you can get it for $1. They also have a free store that is maintained entirely by donations and offers shelf-stable snacks, hygiene products, clothing, and other essentials completely for free to anyone who comes in and asks. If you're interested in donating, all the information you need will be linked in the video description. They have Target and Amazon wish lists set up that you can donate through or you can drop by the store and leave any physical donations there. They regularly host free and low-cost events, so be sure to check out their website and see if there's anything you'd be interested in attending. Sweet Pickle Books is located at 47 Orchard Street on the Lower East Side, and it's just about a 10-minute walk from Blue Stockings if you want to hit them both on the same day. They're open from 12 to 7, Monday to Friday, 11 to 8 on Saturday, and 11 to 7 on Sunday. Sweet Pickle is the only bookstore I have ever heard of where you can donate your old books in exchange for jars of pickles. Yes, you heard me right. Jars of pickles. They have dill, spicy, and sweet pickles available, and you can take in a donation of any size in exchange for them, but I would advise you to not be stingy. It's not a good look. Take in at least a few books. We're about to head up to Sweet Pickle right now, and I'm gonna try out this whole swapping books for pickles thing. I'm thinking four books is probably okay for a jar of pickles, but we'll see what happens when we get there. Lee Altschuler, like many of us, lost her job during the pandemic, but that did not get her down for too long. She opened Sweet Pickle in November of 2020. Her mother really loved the 1998 film Crossing Delancey, which is about a bookseller that gets set up with a Lower East Side pickle shop owner. Sweet Pickle Books was a way to give thanks to her mother as well as pay homage to the neighborhood's history. More on that in a bit. Sweet Pickle is exclusively a used bookstore and they carry a really interesting selection. Many of them rare or about niche topics and they're well known for their vintage cooking section. They also have really fun merch, like who wouldn't want to wear a Pickle bookstore shirt, right? Okay, so obviously I have just left the Sweet Pickle bookstore. I've got my pickles. I chose the spicy pickles. They have a bunch of different kinds. They've got spicy, dill, sweet, all the pickles you could possibly want. It was super easy. I just took my donation of four books in there, handed them off and got some pickles. Also, the owner was telling me that this part of Manhattan was the pickle district back in the day. All pickling was done here and that this store is kind of an homage to that. So I thought that was really cool. I never really 
really expected to make appearances in two videos in a row dressed up as a cow, but here we are. Part of this video, including this part, was filmed on Halloween, and I forgot to taste test the pickles before changing into my Halloween costume. So here we are, because I want some pickles and I want the first taste to be on camera. Also, I realized this is a different cow costume than the last one. The one I was wearing in the last video was actually Ross's costume. Mine hadn't come in yet. This is mine. Okay, the pickles. They look incredible. There's a ton of like garlic and carrots and stuff at the bottom here. Let's try. Interesting shape. Oh my God, that is unreal. That is super spicy and a little bit dill. Oh my, these are awesome. New favorite snack. Go donate some books and get these spicy pickles from Sweet Pickles because oh my God, I, <laughs> life changing. I can't make a video on the best bookstores in downtown Manhattan without mentioning Housing Works Bookstore in Soho. However, I have already included this bookstore in a video that I made, I guess about a year ago now, about the best bookstores in all of New York City. So if you wanna hear more about that, go check out that video. Housing Works Bookstore is just really wonderful. They do a lot to fight the dual crises of AIDS and homelessness in New York City. And all of their staff are volunteer. All of their books are donated, so they're able to put all of their profits back into that. And also, this is the bookstore where that 10 minute long music video of Taylor Swift's was shot. So if you're into Taylor Swift, you might wanna go check that out, but watch the other video for more about Housing Works Bookstore. Three Lives and Company gets its name in honor of the three women who founded it back in 1978, Jill Dunbar, Jenny Fetter, and Helene Webb. It's located at 154 West 10th Street in Greenwich Village, and it's open from 10 to 7 Monday through Saturday and 12 to 7 on Sundays. This place is very popular and has definitely made the rounds on the internet for its cozy and warm aesthetic, and rightfully so. Three Lives and Company is a neighborhood staple. Not only do people shop here, they also come to discuss books, culture, and current events. They visit for a sense of community as much as they visit for the books. A knowledgeable staff of avid readers plays a huge part in what makes Three Lives and Company special and successful. They enjoy finding great books that may otherwise be overlooked and providing them to their customers. Michael Cunningham, winner of the 1999 Pulitzer Prize for Fiction for his novel The Hours, once said, one of the greatest bookstores on the face of the earth. Every single person who works there is incredibly knowledgeable and well-read and full of soul. You can walk in and ask anybody, really, what they've read lately and they'll tell you something. Very likely something you've never heard of, but it's always going to be something interesting and fabulous. I go there when I'm feeling depressed and discouraged and I always feel rejuvenated. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like for me. It really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every single Saturday. And let me know in the comments which of these bookstores you're the most excited to check out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.